Welcome to the next episode of Loro's Lab. Today, today we speak about something that pisses me off for the past two years. Okay? And it only got worse. And I'm not talking here about strategy. I'm not talking here about like fundamentals because that pisses me off as well. But it's even worse because the devs made it worse. And I'm speaking here about Reyna. And how Reyna is ruining, silently ruining the game and the standards of the community. It's crazy to me to think that Reyna is the most played agent in the entire game. In every mode. Reyna is the most played. It was actually tweeted by Valorant. Look at this. Just look at this. Most played agent in 2022. Reyna. It's crazy to me that that is happening in this game because this agent is an antithesis of everything of everything what Valorant is about. And that is crazy to me. And let me explain my thoughts. Why is this a bad thing for the game? Why is this a bad thing for the community? Because right now, Reyna is not only the easiest agent to play because you don't need to understand anything when it comes to utility. Of course, I'm exaggerating, but you get my point. The utility is the easiest in the game, right? And the fact is that this is the easiest agent to smurf with because you're getting multiple lies over and over. You get uh, easy refreshes of your health. You're feeling like you're just playing multiple characters if you are mechanically better than the other people in the lobby which fits perfectly for smurfing right but the bigger thing is that we had the same problem with uh esports for over a year i think a year and a half i didn't actually check it would have to like go and check when was icebox release and when was the last time at a major event that a team played uh, actually right now but if i'm not mistaken it was a year and a half where Icebox metagame and Breeze metagame as well for a few months were Reyna heavy. Instead of playing, like if you guys remember, Fnatic coined a very specific composition that I very much liked because it utilized Killjoy and Viper together on Icebox alongside the staples like Jet, Sage and uh, Viper, uh, sorry, and Sova, right? And instead of Reyna, they played Killjoy. Why? Because Killjoy has utility. And it can be comboed with other players. And it controls space. None of those are being done by Arena. Why do I think that this is so important for the community? Is because players who are playing Reyna in ranked, they're not learning anything else. They're just running around baiting people, most likely like we had today in Mortal 3 Reyna, just baiting other players. And the thing is, that then they swap to another agent if they will ever, and they will feel lost because they have no context of how to use the other characters. They will have no idea how to use utility, how to play with a team because they are so self-sufficient on Arena. Long term, this hurts the player base because a portion, a huge portion of the community who plays Reyna is not learning the same game that everyone else who's playing any other character in the game. And it got worse because the devs buffed Reyna when she was already the most powerful agent in the game to play in ranked. Because I'm not talking like in pro play, this is not gonna matter much. In pro play, this is not gonna matter much. I'm sorry, my, my camera is covering right now. Here we go. As you can see, Reyna is on the first spot, not only the most played but also the second highest win rate, sorry, third highest win rate. What is funny is that Brimstone and Kildra have higher win rate than, than uh, Reyna. But she has, by a country mile, better stats on everything else. Look at this, KD ratio, 1.15. 1.15 when the second highest, second highest is Phoenix and Jet in Chamber. Hmm. All of those, what they have, they what do those agents have in common? They have a second chance at getting kills. 
Phoenix has the ultimate. Jet has the dash. Chamber has the um, has the TP out. And yet Reyna has even higher, almost double the KD. By double, I mean double the decimal, right? Of the next three combined, not even Rays has such a KD ratio on ranked. This showcases how big of a problem Reyna is for smurfing. Because this is just buffed by players who are just smurfing in lower lobbies and just getting insane amount of kills. Right? And the thing is, with so much 12.5% pick rate of any age, like she is on the average in every lobby. Like, imagine that. On the average. Reyna is in every lobby. <laughs> it's crazy, man. When you think about it, if she would be at average 20%, that means that every lobby would have two Reynas. But she's at average 12.4. That means then that one out of five lobbies has two Reynas. Right? And basically almost... Almost like 8 out of 10 has Arena. And this is most likely skewed because of the lower ranks. But it's crazy to me that they buffed Reyna when she was already before the buff. The most played, the highest win rate, and the highest KD. You know? What do I think has to be done about that? I think the reason, I mean, sorry, not the reason, but the outcome of this. That is not pushing the community forward to do what Valorant devs, in my eyes at least, want to achieve, which is higher synergy of the agents being used together, is completely re reworking Reyna. Because this is not something, this is not something that, that, that just aligns with the rest. Like, even the more, let's say, self selfish characters in the game, like Chamber, still have something to use for the team, right? That is more, like, reliable, like, with the trap, right? One could argue that maybe Chamber is even more, uh, like, more selfish than Reyna because of the flashes now after the buff, but before the buff, that wasn't even the case. But yet still, Chamber fits the game more than Reyna. Reyna is just so ultra-focused on only her performance, right? And now with the change over 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 flashes having shorter duration but faster setup, she is being pushed into a more self-sufficient agent. So, in my eyes, everything about her has to be reworked. Everything. There's just no way that this agent is beneficial for the long-term success of the game for casual audience because Reyna just doesn't fit the game. Imagine the game. If there will be no Reyna, like literally, just no Reyna whatsoever. Every lobby would suddenly just spike in quality. Not only because players would actually learn other characters how to play them, but it would also have lobbies that have more utility. Right? So, I, in my eyes, that's a huge issue. That's a huge issue. Uh, and I can imagine that long term it's going to be really hurtful to like... The, the lower uh, lower ranks even more over and over again because Reyna like I, I cannot I still can I cannot understand how is she getting buffed when she had such a major part of ranked so the only reason why Reyna got buffed is the prop play because she was getting trumped in prop play for obvious reasons like right now if I'm not mistaken let me actually let me actually go to rip.gg and let us check the average pick rate globally on the last patches. Let me show you. Let me move my camera a little bit. So let's say last patch. But we didn't have like a lot of events here. Second, sorry, fourth lowest pick. She's only higher than Phoenix, Yoru and Harbor. Well, that doesn't tell you much, right? That's me that means she's actually just almost never picked in semi and pro play. Let's check the previous patch. 510. Same. 
5-9. Same. Sorry, Cypher was picked even less because there was no Humble here. <laughs> Same stuff. Cypher being higher picked than Reyna. It shows that Pro Play actually understands nowadays that she's just she just makes no sense. Let's check 4-0, by the way. 4-0, she had almost 20% usage. Like, that's actually crazy. That's still this year. Look how slow Pro Play is to adapt this. This is still this year. January of this year. She had a five-time higher pick rate. It started going down on 4.02. You seeing this? She suddenly had a, a, a huge loss in popularity in 4.04. And the only reason why she got buffed is because she's being picked picked less in, in pro play, I guess. That's my guess. I don't know, man. Like, it, it really, like, in ranked, if you play high elo, like, really high elo, if you want to be sufficient as Reyna, you need to have a live game, because on average, you're going to play against other players that are equally your strength, right? So unless you're a tier 1 pro player, there's no way that you're going to be averaging in a way that Reyna benefits from the kills, right? So you need to play different agents. So she's just literally just like a smurf machine. I don't know, man. I'm ranting at this point because it just annoys me. It just annoys me the fuck out of me that we have a character that is just so useless. And then you go into the game in ranked. You try to win. But suddenly you have one character that doesn't just deliver anything to the team. You know? So yeah, my solution to this... Heavy rework of Reyna. Heavy rework. Make her utility be for the team. Fully. Make her, I don't know, give her some mobility. Give her no heals. Give her no way of dismissing or just anything else, you know, than this. Because this is ruining long-term advancement, the long-term evolution of players in our ranked. And also completely ruins low-ranked. Because Smiths are just running rampant with, with Reyna. So, yeah, I guess that's uh, that's it. That's just the rant that I wanted to do. Um, tomorrow we're going to focus on actual fundamentals and explaining some stuff on the map. But I had this, I had to, to let this go of my chest because today we had like three games like this. Well, two. But last, before Christmas, I had so many games with just Reyna. I don't know, man. I don't know, guys. Thank you so much for, for watching this episode. This is an actual rant today. And tomorrow we're going to speak about fundamentals, maybe actual defaulting or like tactics on attack and shit like that. But holy crap, I need to have to vent about this. See you guys tomorrow.